Okay. Back in the, uh... I don't know. Weird, twisted Garden of Eden, if you will. Welcome back to Detroit, guys. Oh, man, we escaped Zlatko in the last video. And uh, by the time you're seeing this, my Christmas break will have been over. Uh, I'm recording this slightly before that. <laughs> this tells you how far ahead I, uh, I've recorded, just to help alleviate the risk of spoilers here. But um, at this point... Uh, the holidays have passed, so uh, hope you all, all had a wonderful time. Hope you all had, had great Christmases and Hanukkahs and uh, maybe even New Year. I'm going to try and post two videos at a time now. Um, I imagine, because I, try, I tried to space it out so I could, you know, have constant content while I was gone, but um, for, my, for my break. But now that we're back, I think we're going to post two of these a day now. So, especially if they're short probably do two chapters in a single video if they're really short but um i get again i'm trying to keep one chapter per video and uh just release more videos if they're short we'll just have more videos so uh, so last time it looked like i missed a certain like i said i got the magic thing but i i, I missed something here and so i'm kind of exploring again trying to see if there was anything that i didn't get that I can get this time. There's other paths to take here, but so far I, I don't really see any extra things that I miss. And Amanda is not where she was before. So we are meeting her in a different space. Just a little bit, like we're not in the middle of the water anymore. I wonder what Amanda's gonna Hello, say about Amanda. us missing that guy. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. Yeah. That part was real weird. Um, I have no excuse. I have no excuse. I should have been more efficient. Hmm. Did you manage to learn anything? Well, there are signs on the walls. The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? was fascinated by birds. We've seen deviants interested in other life forms like insects or pets. But nothing like this. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with the lieutenant developing? It could be better. Honestly, it really could be better. Let's say it's in it's improving. Improving, yeah. I'm coming to know him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. Why, though? Why do you mind? Why do you care? We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. I still haven't figured out who she is. The only thing I can really gather is that she likely had something to do with his creation. Um, I, I was thinking initially maybe like a high up executive, right? But like of Cyberlife, but I, I just, I don't know about that. God, the taxis are so futuristic now. Suck it, Uber. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, look for look for the lieutenant. All right, we've got some stuff here. Look for Lieutenant Anderson through the window, the door, or the car. We can, let's, let's 
Let's go to the car first. I doubt he's in the car, but I just I want to investigate everything. It's uh Okay, so I could have went up to the passenger window, not the driver's side window. I guess. Well, that's an interesting way of having the camera. Remember when sex was safe and driving was risky? <laughs> that's what it says on the dash. All right, he's got a big old iPad looking tablet thing on the front of his car. Can we search through his garbage? You know, just to see. No. Prime. It's not the right logo, so it's not Amazon. It says Prime. I wonder if I'm able to go this way. Or will it stop me? Yeah, it'll stop me. Okay. Alright. Well, let's look through the window. Oh, there's a dog. Hey, buddy. I guess we'll knock on the door. After we look at this window. He, it's, that was weird. I wanted to go straight, and he, like, turned towards the door. Almost like to, like, help the player walk there. Yeah, I don't see anything through the windows at all, so we'll knock on the door. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Find a way inside. <laughs> oh, come on. Just like hold it down forever until he responds, right? That would be so annoying. That'd be a way to... If I was like trying to avoid you, that would definitely get me to go. Okay, fine, you're in. Just hold down the button and... Uh... Can we, like, communicate, like, as an android, can we, like, communicate with his, uh, garage door opener or something? I'm trying to figure out how old this car is. What do you think? It kind of looks... It might even be, like, late 80s here, right? Early, really early 90s? I think it's, like, late 80s. That thing is... The very definition of a classic. Alright, let's come back to the backyard here. See if there's anything I'm missing back here. There's a window there and a back door. Let's check out the, uh, this window real quick. Oh, he's down. He's unconscious. Whoa. Lieutenant Anderson! Uh, I guess we're breaking the window. Easy sumo. sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. He's just passed out drunk. That's all it is. He's just had a lot to drink. He's just passed out drunk. Alright. Apparently I... Yeah. Check on Hank. Examine. All right. Treat it like a crime scene. Well, first he was drinking a lot. Black lamb scotch whiskey, 40% alcohol. Okay. Yeah, traces of alcohol because he's been drinking the whiskey. Uh, looking at his shirt, looks like he's got uh, slight arrhythmia, but no signs of trauma to the heart. Okay, we can examine his freaking organs. What about uh, kidneys? Liver? No, nothing. Liver function? Three out of four clues. Uh, oh, there's a gun there. Jesus. Uh, 357 Magnum with one bullet remaining. Dude, were you like... Lieutenant. Were you playing Russian roulette with yourself or something? <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. Wake up. It's me, Connor. <laughs> Just smack him. Wow, he's he's still out. 
I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. <laughs> Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Take Hank to the bathroom. Yeah. Sulu, attack. Attack. Good job. Attack. Attack. I love it. <laughs> fuck, I think I'm going to be sick. You think? You sure? Mm-hmm. Into the bathroom we go. This is where you oh, get leave sick. Leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna pull you in. <laughs> I'm not what grumpy. Oh, I wanna see what those stickers say. Oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. This is not an option. <laughs> it's for your own good. Turn the shower on. Greetings. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? No. Must be rational. Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. There's like no Lieutenant, way to make him happy. You're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. Can't be rational with a drunk. I'm gonna tease him. <laughs> I'm gonna tease him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. <laughs> There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know what you're saying. There's just a... Uh... You know, it's just a murder in a sex club. Yeah, I guess they'll just have to solve it without us. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Okay, so we're gonna want to get strippy, hippie, or streaky. Oh my god. Uh, is it strippy or stripey? Hippie? Streaky. God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, alright. I think Hank will probably like a little bit the stripes. Let's go down the middle. Let's go down the middle. He may hate this, but I'm gonna give it to him. <laughs> Anything else I can investigate while I'm here? No, he's got basketball on though. That's good. Are you alright, Lieutenant? Yeah, yeah, <sighs> wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> now I can investigate his house while he's in there. Let's let's investigate him a little bit. I want to learn a bit more about him, and I think I can. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a thing we can read right here. Century. Screening for depression. Time to pull the plug. College ball. Should varsity athletes accept sponsorship? New touchdown replay technology is 100% accurate. Okay. So time to pull the plug. Scanning for depression. A recent study led by Dr. P. Gorgansky has linked the amount of time we spend in front of screens with the, the widespread antidepressant epidemic. From the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, we are surrounded by screen-based devices. Of course, too much TV definitely won't make your eyes go square, but it can have other harmful consequences. 
These include poor sleep, strained eyesight, and lack of face-to-face -face interaction driving emotional underdevelopment and depression. Gorgansky's study found that two in three people take antidepressants and lack of social interaction is the leading cause. Meanwhile, the average person spends 82% of their time communicating through a device rather than in person, and relationships are suffering for it. In response, CyberLife has introduced a home psychologist add-on to your Android in a bid to teach us how to communicate again. The upgrade costs $150 and can benefit the whole family with group therapy sessions and activities adapted for children and adults. So their response to our lack of uh, interpersonal communication is to talk to the robot, not go see a human psychiatrist. Uh, but Gorgansky is skeptical. Our society is hooked on technology. I don't think yet more technology is the answer. Just go outside and talk to someone. Yeah, I get you. Sales of Android intimate partners are exploding. Tainted love. Police use marketing data to identify criminals early. And in other news, politics in focus. Are American senators really corrupt? So sales of intimate uh, intimate partners, uh, androids, tainted love. Androids capable of satisfying customers' sexual and emotional needs have been a phenomenal success, such that, such that CyberLife has been battling with or battling to keep stores stocked. Though the idea seemed far fetched initially, CyberLife's gamble has paid off. These androids offer nothing less than a full partner experience for men and women. The advantages are many. Androids take care of the house, cook to a high standard, and fulfill any sexual fantasy without ever saying, Not tonight, honey. I have a headache. While CyberLife initially focused on urban singles to buy its models, this year's record divorce rates seem to show that many men and women today prefer to live with an android than a human partner. This won't help the already plummeting birth rate, which raises serious questions about the role androids play in our society. Well, that's, that's, these are great articles, man. There he goes. How do you like the shirt? Is it be your style? Dog, Sumo. I won't be long. There you go. I'm not judging much. Good dog, Sumo. Aw, oh, Russian roulette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there's a whole lot of things here, but I could have red pull the plug so it looks like this is like pulled out of it so did i actually not get any of the things because it looks like he huh like he's ready to go as soon as i'm done reading the articles instead of reading those other things okay well uh that's that's this this video it's a little less than 20 minutes long but like i said i'm gonna keep one video per chapter and so uh, we'll just go ahead and release more videos uh, on days when they're really short. We'll just have more of them. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.